So I just figured out that I'm uh, addicted to sharing content. <laughs> no, but uh, seriously, I do have another uh, video for you guys. It's uh, on how to uh, chop and prep your samples for air drums uh, inside of Sonar. Uh, Sonar is my uh, DAW of choice. Uh, just use the same principles behind whatever I'm doing and apply to uh, whatever you're using. Uh, so without further ado, here is the video. I uh, hope you guys like it. What's going on everybody? It's Reggie Retro here. Uh, I got another tutorial for you on how to prep your samples for air drums. Um, so uh, to quickly get into it, I already have a track picked out. It's uh, Journey, uh, Wheel in the Sky. So I'm going to uh, quickly drag this over onto a track. <clears throat> uh, the reason why I'm using uh, sonar to uh, chop my samples is um, air drums is non-destructive, uh, which means it doesn't actually let you chop up the uh, sample. You could basically uh, uh, put markers for the pads for their start and end position, but you can't uh, uh, chop up the actual sample. So that's why I actually make my sample in sonar and then import them into air drums. So uh, to uh, think, start things off, I want to find my uh, uh, BPM for the track. So the uh, BPM is roughly uh, 104. Uh, so it's probably around 100. I just actually tapped it in on the uh, trigger finger. Uh, just to make things easy on myself. So to uh, get a more accurate uh, uh, portrayal of what the BPM is, I have to find the exact start position of the uh, beat that I want it to start on and then drag it over to the beginning. And if you look carefully for the fifth bar, it should end pretty much right on there. So 100 is too slow, so I'm going to speed it up a little. Yeah, so it is around 105, 104. Yeah, I'll say 104 would do it. So uh, after finding your BPM, <coughs> uh, you basically want to find your uh, four bar loop. Which ends right there. So I'm going to uh, turn on snapping <clears throat> and change it to uh, make sure that whole note is selected and then go to my cut tool and chop it on the fifth one right there. Uh, if you get a uh, little something extra that's fine don't worry about it you could adjust it later. And then I'm going to get rid of the rest of the song because I no longer need it. And then uh, just a little bit more adjusting so I don't have some extra noise here. Four point five. That's a lot better. And then chop that. And now that I have my actual four bar loop. I could go ahead and actually start making my chops. So keep snapping on back to your snap tool or your scissor tool and just uh, go on each one of these uh, notes here. So the first bar, second bar, third bar, and then there's your fourth bar. And then change snapping to uh, quarter if you want uh, any more chops. And chop that right there right there, right there, and right there. So um, again I want even more chops, I want to end up with 16 chops altogether. So I would then go to uh, 8th 
and put a chop there, chop there, there, there. And as you can see, uh, your kit actually starts to uh, take shape uh, even faster. Uh, so now that I have 16 chops, uh, there's still some editing that we have to do to ensure that uh, all of our markers are uh, actually on our sample when we import them to uh, Arsenal. So now that I have uh, all my uh, samples ready to go, I basically have to uh, select the uh, first uh, chop that I have. Bounce to clips. And that one's already on the first track, so that's fine. Go to the next one. Oh, sorry. I forgot one thing. Groove clip looping. And the hotkey is Control L. So I'll do that. And you'll notice that it kind of changed quickly there. I'm going to move the second one over to its own track. Bounce to clips. Control L for groove clip looping. And the groove clip looping is uh, what actually sets your markers in air drums, so make sure you do uh, the groove clip looping. Bounce to tracks, control L. Bounce to tracks, control L. So I'm just going to uh, quickly burn through the rest of these and then uh, get ready to uh, get to the uh, rest of the video here for you. Okay, so uh, now that I have my uh, clips all aligned, uh, just make sure that uh, anything doesn't go fall short or kind of roll over, or you're going to have a bunch of blank space uh, before or after your sample starts. So now that I have that there, I have to uh, rename my uh, tracks to all of the same name, RE for Retro Essentials, copy that paste it here and paste it on all the tracks and now that I have all the tracks renamed I am ready to save it and then export <clears throat> Um, you can save a template. Uh, basically what you want to do is uh, go to wherever you put all your samples at. And the actual name of the song was this here. So I'll copy that put the name in there and make sure you change this category to tracks. Um, and then either save it as a preset or do whatever you would like. Um, I already have a uh, preset uh, done, export chop samples, so I'm going to do that. And oh, I did forget something. I did not select all of the tracks. Make sure you do select all of your tracks before you do export it. Audio, export chopped samples journey wheel in the sky remove these spaces put some caps in here and then export so uh, there are all my samples and it even numbered them for me <clears throat> everything's in order it's a beautiful thing and so now that we have all our sample samples uh, kind of chopped up there, we should see them in our sample directory. So just to uh, see if they're there, everything's proper. Journey, wheel in the sky, there they are. And now I am ready to actually start importing my samples into air drums. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to do that. Um, uh, this one did go kind of long, I apologize. But yeah, that's how you prepare your sounds, or your sample chops, in sonar for air drums. Uh, if you do have a different type of DAW, uh, the process is going to be the same. Just look for that uh, groove clip looping uh, somewhere within your edit options or uh, something like that. It might be named something different. Um, I know in uh, Ableton, I think it's called uh, like your warp, uh, warp markers or something to that effect. 
Um, I'm not really sure about Logic um, or any other sort of DAW, uh, but this is what I use. It gets me by. Um, and again, uh, make sure you do use the uh, groove clip looping or you won't see your start and end markers in air drums. Uh, it's very important. So I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is Reggie Retro. Peace out, everybody.